All right, a right square pyramid has a base, that's that bottom part, with a perimeter of 48 centimeters. So I know there's four sides to that, so I just do 48 divided by 4, and that gives me each side is going to be 12 for my base. And it is a square, so they're all the same. All right, and the height is 18, and the height is the right perpendicular angle. It's perpendicular to the base. In other words, it's straight up and down perpendicular to this flat base. So that part right there is going to be 18. And then it's saying one-third of the distance up from the base, and actually that's right here. So from there up to one-third to the apex, the apex is the highest point. So this is my apex. The pyramid is cut by a plane parallel to its base. So this plane is parallel. What's the volume of the top pyramid? So they want this part right here. So if this is one-third, then this up here must be two-thirds. So I'm going to fill in that from here to here, that, that height right there is two-thirds of 18, that means times 18, so two-thirds of 18, I just do, uh, three will go into 18, six, three will go into three once, two times six is 12. So this height there is 12. So I have my height is 12, my base over here is they are 12, I just don't know the base for these. Well, one thing I do know is I just made, these make a similar right triangle. So check this out. If I draw it from the center out, that gives me a right triangle. And then this triangle here, if I draw it, it's a similar right triangle. I'm going to draw another view of that. I'm just drawing this. So, so this smaller triangle represented by this, is part of the bigger triangle represented from the top drawn to the side to the center. So these are similar to each other, which means they are proportional. So if they're proportional, and I know this one is going to be, well then I know their dimensions are proportional, so look at our original height and our um, our base. So it was basically 18 is to 12, and I'm doing height over base as, what's my new one? My new height is 12, so as 12 is to x. So how do I get there? I just cross multiply, so 18x. And I honestly, I could simplify that fraction to make it easier equals 144. And if I divide by 18 there, I would get 8. So x equals 8. And x again stands for the base right here. Alright, I'm going to erase some stuff so we can see what we have. We have 8 and my height is 12. So I'm going to write this down. My height is 12. My base or my sides are 8. So now I need to know the formula. What's the formula for the volume of a pyramid? Well, since it comes up to a point, any figure like that that comes up to a point, it's a third of a regular figure such as a rectangular prism. So it's a third of the prism formula. Now the prism formula for volume is the area of the base times the height. So here, since it's a third, I'm going to use the one-third of the area of the base times the height. So now I can just plug in these numbers that I have. So I'm going to plug in V equals one-third. My base is, it, now capital B stands for area of the base. So it's a square, so I need to do 8 times 8, or 8 squared, and then times the height, which is 12. So it's really one-third 
times 64 times 12. And I know since 3 is on the bottom, a third of 12 is 4. And then 4 times 64. 4 times 60 is 240. 4 times 4 is 16. So 240 plus 16 is 256. And that would be centimeters cubed. 256!